Java Juice is not as big as an empire as it used to be. It's not that big anymore. The stock kind of failed, but, uh, you know, it had its time in the limelight. Now, of course, there are other businesses out there that perform like Jamba Juice, offering nice frosty fruit drinks for you to drink with little healthy protein shots and vitamin C shots and B vitamin shots and... Anyways, it's like a crack for the healthy people. Whether it's healthy or not, I do not know. But, there's something about this. When you go to a GNC store, you want to make sure that the person you're buying all this healthy stuff from is healthy, or at least appearing healthy. When you go to a gym, you would like your physical trainer to be in good shape. I went to one of these knockoff Jamba Juice joints and was served by an unhealthy, I would say, not grotesque, but an obese woman. That did not stop me from getting my juice drink. But I'm just thinking to myself, how many customers are you going to turn away when you do something like this. Oh, by the way, meet Rockerware. If you haven't seen him, check out his channel. America. Australia. Terminators. I was just watching the Jay Diesel's uh, video on this about how America and Australia are teaming up to create Terminator-like robots that are controlled in warfare which could stop terrorism it is potentially cheaper and it saves soldiers lives what? how many politicians have lied to you before? well just about all of them really the point is Terrorism won't just go away if you create these robots. No, terrorists would advance. They'd get more severe. They'd get worse. Because all terrorists want is to create as much destruction as possible whilst trying to change the mindset of people. That's the point of a terrorist. Terrorism is here. We have to live with it. It will never stop. Also, I don't see how creating these robots would be cheaper than feeding, clothing, and producing weapons for the soldiers that we currently have. Then they say that it, it saves lives. Saving lives? Really? Well, what about all the extra civilians that would be lost? by accident. And even if it did save lives, what about all the thousands of jobs that it will destroy? This is the wrong move for Australia and America. And that's pretty much all I have to say. And if you want your video to be featured next week, post one of your videos as a video response to one of my videos during the course of next week. Talk to you later, guys.